that feeling when you wake up to hundreds of tweets, Instagram DMs, and Facebook messages letting you know that the cutout jeans have reached their final form. It's too early in the morning for this. It's happened. We've reached the singularity. We finally achieved total cutout. Welcome to Make Thrift Buy, the series where you send in clothes that you have seen on the internet and then I do my best to recreate them and sometimes make fun of them. A lot of the time, make fun of them. All right, time to destroy a pair of jeans. Okay, so you all know what this is gonna look like. You don't really need a video of me showing you how to use scissors. So why am I doing this video then? Well, I super didn't want to do this, but then I thought, well, maybe at least we can raise some money for charity. <laughs> so all the money for um, the ad revenue for this video, all that money is gonna be going to a charity called the Vasculitis Foundation because May is Vasculitis Awareness Month, which is important to me because number one, it's my birthday in May and two, I suffer from a vasculitis illness called Takayasu's arteritis. And I'd love to find a cure, not just for myself, but for everyone else who has to live with this. Anyway, back to the gene. So the website who sells them has had a lot of traction in the last few days. With mainstream media outlets picking up and making fun of these jeans but guess what no news is bad news because they are sold out <sighs> because of course they are a ready-to-wear version of a look that hit runways last year at tokyo fashion week these pants from this uh website that i don't think is affiliated with the original these jeans sell for a cool 168 us dollars we currently live in a wild wild world where the internet plus outrage plus memes plus capitalism equals Joke items like this get sold out apparently instantly, even when they cost $168. The only thing I can say in their favor is at least they're manufactured in LA, but they don't say where the material's from. They're also basically just destined for the rubbish bin because like, I mean, how many times are you gonna wear these? Are you gonna keep them for your children or your children's children? And I mean, they're also not very size inclusive. The jeans only go up to a size 27 inch waist, which is like a size four US. It's just too bad that I already turned the uh, clear knee mum jeans turned dirt jeans into actually some rather nice embroidered shorts. So we can't use those for this. But I do have a pair of jeans that I was about to go and give to the thrift store. So this pair of jeans were originally from a thrift store for $3. So to, let's be real, destroy these jeans. What I did was to turn them inside out and then with my pair of fabric scissors, I pinched a fold of fabric on one leg at the back and I proceeded to cut down near the side seams. I had a bit of a needy dog problem. This doggo didn't want me to destroy these jeans either. And then I continued cutting down the side seams, leaving about an inch, which is like 2.5 centimeters of fabric next to the seam. So I liberated this huge amount of fabric which is going to be going into my scrap fabric pile to be shredded and then used as pillow stuffing for a dog bed that I'm making. I repeated this on the other legs back piece leaving me with this nice thong part. Now the originals leave this little modesty strip of fabric over the knees so I put the half deconstructed jeans on and I drew a chalk mark around about where my knees are. The next step is to cut out a rectangle of fabric here leaving a bit of fabric next to the seams on these edges. And then because I obviously want this to be super accurate, otherwise how ridiculous would I look? I folded this leg on top of the other leg to make sure that I was cutting out the same size rectangle from the other leg. For the last step, I turned the jeans the other way around to make sure I wouldn't accidentally cut out the pockets because it is essential that the pockets are left in there. And I cut out the rest of the fabric, making sure I kept those knee strips in. And that's it. This took me about 15 minutes. So pretty speedy DIY. So with them now finished, how do they look on me? And more importantly, what do people think of them? Hey Uchi, what do you think of my pants? Do you know how much these retail for? How much? Can you guess? Oh, I don't know. <sighs> $6,000. It's actually surprisingly less. How much? 168 US dollars. It's almost like there's a formula for you add more money, the more jean you take away. You know, one square of denim, that would be $5,000. Just one button. Oh. That would be $10,000. Oh, TM, 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 TM. One button and you just glue it to your own belly button. You have a new business idea. We're gonna make millions. What do you think about me wearing these out and about in public? You know, I think I support you in your choices. Hey mom, what do you think of my jeans? Hello, oh wow. What happened to your jeans? <laughs> Acid rain? Um, there's not much of them. 
What about your underwear? I'm glad the zipper's still there. What would you think about your daughter wearing these out in public? <laughs> um, guess depends what where public is. <laughs> but just wearing them inside my own home is a little bit safe and both Luchi and my mom have seen the weird things that I DIY many times before. So to feel their full effect, I took them out in public to a place where there are lots of young, hip people around the middle of Sydney University's campus. I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> and Kim, apparently, she thinks they're all right. You yeah, feel like so free. You can like... <laughs> Why has Undone that so embarrassing? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and I also think we figured out a way for them to look pretty okay. Wear them over some cute track pants. However, I did want to test them out in their natural state in the way that both these models wore them with bare legs. Okay, I'm about to go walk out into public with them. So I wore them over some very teeny tiny booty shorts. We did try talking to some people to see what they thought, but mostly uh, people ran away from me. No one wants to talk to me. I do. I love these pants. <laughs> really? Yes. Legitimately? Yes. Wow. We talked to some people who liked them. They didn't want to be on camera, but they liked them. So I've been surprised by how many people actually like them. <laughs> However, this one person, the only person who would talk to us on camera, was very, very polite about them. Yeah, I saw them. I actually saw you from a while off and I was like, oh, that's a mood. Like, <laughs> uh, interesting, $200, unsure. Unsure? What do you that. think? Do you think I pull it off? <laughs> um, sure. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so supportive. In general, the people who didn't want to be on camera but who we did talk to, um, people said that they wouldn't wear them themselves but they were still very supportive of my right to wear whatever I wanted, which was kind of what I expected from students at a university. Although I did get quite a few stares and laughs and confused looks. Practically, I found it very difficult to walk up or down stairs with them. I found it really hard to walk fast or walk at all, really, because I kept getting tangled and tripped up by the dangling stringy seams. Mostly, I had to walk around holding the sides of them up like this, kind of turning myself into a marionette puppet. They're also very much like a slinky. Once you've tangled it, you don't untangle it. <laughs> And while walking up one set of stairs... Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so there goes the idea of trying to sell these for charity. I wonder if the originals are just as flimsy or if they've added something to maintain their structural integrity. You'd hope so for the price they're selling them for. Wow, with this knee bit gone, they have really lost all semblance of being anything close to pants. Now they're just weird floppy ankle holders. So after the leg part broke, I kinda gave up. So, that's how I destroyed a pair of jeans. For charity? At least they only cost me three dollars. <laughs> don't let the jeans go to waste though. Well, I'm gonna recycle all the fabric, don't worry. But don't let this video pass you by without going and checking out the Vasculitis Foundation and if you have the means to, donating. All of May is Vasculitis Awareness Month, so go and learn a bit about vasculitis as well. Impress your friends with your knowledge of Takiyasu's arteritis. I'll pop a link in the description box below. And if you don't have the means to donate, just know that you're helping out by watching and sharing this video, because all advertising and YouTube red revenue from this video for this month will go directly to the Vasculitis Foundation to help them keep raising money for life-saving outreach and research. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's still pretty fun to do some of these more ridiculous videos now and again. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. And don't forget to push the little bell and say that you want notifications for me all the time if you actually want to know when I post because subscribing apparently means nothing anymore. Bye! Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for making this video possible. To become my supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria. Hey guys, welcome to Kim's vlog. <laughs>